Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Horse and Go Seek, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to play it. Now, I had planned on playing a different game tonight um, called Meteora, which is a new game coming out later on this year. Uh, but then I saw this on the, uh, the, new, the, the new game thing and I was just like, do you know what? I kind of have to play this, don't I? I kind of have to. Right. Alright, so... The spirit of the ocean makes you swim faster. Okay, so... Oh, the horse is running. Okay. Uh... Alright, I don't, I don't know what we're doing, but we are... We are horsing around. Ooh, okay. Well, I was trying to go out to this beach. Can we go in the water? We can. We go for a swim. Okay. I mean, there's no... There's no sound effects other than the music. It's just... just seems like it's the music, which is quite loud. I wonder... Can we turn the music down? Uh, okay. Okay, the music, yeah, the music's quite loud. I'd, I'd probably much rather hear the sound effects. There we go. All right, so now I've got a horse. And we've got some sound effects. Oh, he doesn't really make noises unless you stop moving him. Okay. There seemed to be some sort of portal over there. I guess we might as well go check that out. So the, the only controls is the left stick and right stick. Right stick sort of controls the camera. So what is this? Uh, okay. So this is where we started, I guess. I don't, I don't know. We're looking for a beagle. I think that's the... That's the goal. So we're uh, a gray horse with purple tail um okay so we can't go that way right well at least it's forgiving on fall damage in that there doesn't seem to be any it also seems to be light on any sort of design okay i mean where where are we supposed to be going I'm going to all the, the places that look like they might be a place to go to. And so far, it's just just nothing. So far, we've encountered nothing to do except for run. I do like that the horse sort of runs in time with the music. And it's that kind of song that they just loop infinitely, like, um, you know, over promotional videos for, like, supplements or condoms or whatever you know like ask your doctor if uh you know condo flex is for you you know um 12 out of 14 doctors approve this and think that it's good for you and the other two we murdered i don't that that's just you know the type of music we got going on and we got this horse who's just running just running wherever for whatever reason horse doesn't seem to like going up hills so we can't go up hills we can turn around though right so we're playing horse and go seek and I, I think we're supposed to be seeking a beagle and I'm not I'm not implying that it should be super easy but also I mean, it shouldn't be this hard, right? Okay, so now we're now we're stuck. And where where is this stupid beagle? It's not in here. Okay, I guess I'll fast. I'm gonna keep wandering around. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot to do, so I'll fast forward until we figure out where the stupid beagle is. <laughs> Oh, 
I was trying to go to the edge of the map, but there's an invisible wall in the way, so... No edge of the map visits for us. We're just stuck looking for this beagle, which doesn't seem to exist. There's no sort of uh, change in the environment when you're getting close or anything like that. It's just not really here. So I'm, I'm not actually sure what the, what the point is um, because so far we've wandered around the entirety of the island and there's no, there's no beagle. And I, I don't, I don't know what we would do differently to find it. And I mean, probably the developer is going to be like, oh, you missed the one spot that he's in. And it's not supposed to be super easy. You're supposed to find him. And I'm going to be like, yeah, dude, but the game that you've got here is not super fun. Like it was cool making my horse. I liked giving my horse, um, I liked, oh, I can jump. I figured out a button. Nice. I liked giving my, my horse uh, cool hair. That was fun. So what is that? Oh, I can sprint as well. Okay, so there's jumping. So maybe we can jump up the hill. There we go. I figured out how to climb up the hill. Maybe this is how you're supposed to find the beagle. This is an area that... Oh! Oh, no, no, no. We, we hadn't been to before, and then we immediately ran off, of course. Classic. Well, if we got up there once, we can get up there again. It's fine. Love that we can jump out of the water. That's... We're a dolphin. <laughs> Dumb. All right. There we go. Going up. Going up, team. Going up. Going all the way up to the top. The tippy top. There we go. Nice. Now it's time to die. Whee! Oosh. Sploosh. I am a horse dolphin. I am the horsiest of all dolphins. Okay. This is the best way to climb things, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, we nearly got it. We just gotta wait a little bit. We're, ne we're nearly there, team. Uh, we we couldn't couldn't quite get it. No, the game doesn't want to let us use the same trick. It says no using that trick. You're not allowed. And I'm like, but it's the best trick, clearly. Wee. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, I have been playing the game for 10 minutes and there's been nothing so let's oh let's go to the main menu let's see if there's something else to do uh there's a spirit hidden in every world okay so we went to the we went to the door over here we did that before didn't we A spirit is hidden in this world. Uh. Okay, so is this the game? I was. I don't. I don't understand what's happening. So, did we find the the game proper? Because that seems really dumb. Why would you start on an island like that? I, I just don't understand. Okay, so we found a beagle. And now he's going to teleport around with us. Okay. Right. Well, that's stupid. Yeah, that door makes no sense, guys. Your, uh, your introduction menu makes no sense at all. That's right. We found a beagle. 
Now I guess we're looking for something else. Um, it's very white, the sand. I'm already pretty frustrated because the uh, the opening island is just like a menu island or something. It seems pointless to be there. I mean, the game is lucky that I'm a persistent gamer because 10 minutes of doing nothing um, in a game that's supposed to be sort of joyful or whatever. I mean, at least this one's got like sound effects and stuff. And I like the music a little bit better. It doesn't sound like it's part of a a condom commercial or a supplements commercial or a ask your doctor about herpes simplex A or whatever. Um, I mean, but I, I basically had all the horse running around that uh, I can stomach just because that opening thing was very dumb. So I've got to find six beagles. That seems like too many beagles. Okay. I guess I'll fast forward till we find all the beagles. <laughs> Okay, I give up, but I think uh, I think we get the gist. Yeah, there's some dogs. There's like a rainbow. The horse will run by himself if you're not careful. Yeah. Yeah, and they 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 they're pooping rainbows or whatever, and you can sort of make some pretty colors, which is cool. Um, I do like that, I guess, but uh, I think that I'm not really enjoying the. Um, finding of the animals very much. So, let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Alright, horse and go seek. Get ready to gallop through scenic locations with your majestic horse to find all the hidden animals. Travel through a variety of different landscapes to unlock horses, hair colors, levels, spirits, and worlds. Uh, developed by Northern Amusements. It currently costs $12.39. Yep, we read that. Begin your journey as an adventurous horse on a quest to explore the world and find some animals, animal friends along the way. Travel through eight different locations and 29 levels to save the hidden wildlife. Unlock 11 unique horses and choose from over 56 different hair colors to style your horse. Seek out the mysterious spirits who will grant your horse mystical powers. Uh, yeah. Pleasant Isle, Lazy River, Desert Canyon, Dark Woods, Wander, uh, Tranquil Taiga, Tropical Islands, Horizon Highlands, and discover the bonus world and soar to victory. Sure. Eagles, uh, sorry, animals to find beagles, cats, camels, bears, penguins, rabbits, turtles, plus many more. Yeah, okay, so apparently there's a Pegasus, so that's cool. Um, so it's not the worst idea for a game that I've ever seen. Um, and with a little bit of a better UI or something or some sort of indicator to give us an idea of where we might need to go to find the, the animals I might even have had a fun time because it's kind of a, like relaxing it's pretty the music's nice once I figured out that that little door is actually a menu that leads me into the next world and not just some thing telling me that I need to find six beagles when I can't find any beagles um, the game is, you know, it's, it's relatively nice, it's pleasant, it's inoffensive, um, but yeah, it really does need some quality of life stuff. A little, like, a little direction arrow or uh, a little ping system that would give you 
uh, you know, the direction that you need to go, but not tell you exactly where it is. Not saying that needs you need to have an objective marker, but you know, like a, a ping, you know, so you could uh, say Marco and they'd say Polo or whatever, you know, so you go bing and they go bing and that works into your score. I don't know. I don't know. Something needs to be done because uh, honestly running around the map over and over and over is not super fun. It's actually really boring. Um, uh, I kind of enjoyed finding the first couple of beagles and watching the trails, but because the view on the horse is so close, you don't even really get to enjoy the trail either. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things. The idea is nice and could be executed well, but the execution is not done super well and I really didn't have a great time with it. So let's look at Northern Amusements and see what else they've got. So they've got a game called Ficterra, which costs $30.99, came out two years ago and has, I guess, no um, reviews. Mini Game Blast, that one's got a couple of reviews and that's the, the bundle, so that comes with all of the things. I'm kind of curious as to this game Ficterra. So it's in early access and it's been early access for three years now. Okay. I mean, that's fine, but it does beg the question, why are they making horse games when they've got other things to be doing? So I don't know, man. It's, it is what it is. You, you, you saw the game. If you like it, go ahead and pick it up. Um, but there are definitely, there are definitely nicer, like sort of pleasant games out there that have more to them than just a big open map that you pick up rainbow of animals on while wandering the whole map. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's Horse and Go Seek and I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.